Thank you to Analog Devices for supporting American Veteran. Keep it close. I could be so lost, stuck with tunnel vision. But God placed me in this position. I've been placed in this position. And my doctor say you do music. Why don't you do music about it? And then when I did, I wasn't alone. Where I want to be. Just like my fitted cap, this music is a part of me. I could try to walk away. This music will keep calling me. There was other war fighters just like me going through the same thing. And I said, this is what I got to do. This is my mission. Hi, I'm Shane Brendan. As a veteran, I understand how objects we brought back from service can be so meaningful. They can remind us why we served and what we did, or help us transition back to civilian life. Today, I talk with a veteran whose object helps him support and connect with other veterans through music. I'm Jeff Barrelero, also known as Soldier Hard. I did 10 years in the United States Army, and I was a sergeant. What was it that made you want to enlist in the military in the first place? Oh, man, if, if, if you knew me as a 12-year-old boy and you asked me what I wanted to do, I would have told you straight up, I'm, I'm going to be a soldier in the United States Army. I was that kid wearing camouflage, you know what I mean? So I already knew, I already knew what I was gonna do. And then when I got out of high school, that's, that's exactly what I did. So what was it like in the early days, you know, uh, you know, after boot camp? During that time, they were short, they had a shortage of a 19 kilo, which is an armored crewman on an M1A2 main battle tank. I was like, man, you guys are gonna pay me to do that? Yeah, let's do it. It was a dream come true. I loved it. I did three years at Fort Hood, Texas, and then I, and I got out. After 9-11, uh, I was determined to get back in. I told myself, no matter what they tell me to do, I'm gonna do it. And I kept that mentality, I kept that in my head, and I excelled. Deployment came up, it wasn't even my unit. They said, this unit is going to Iraq, and they need volunteers. I'm going, send me. So within six months of my enlistment, guess where I was? Baghdad, Iraq. I saved a lot of soldiers' lives out there, man. Um, we did convoy security. The job was to protect the convoy, get them from point A to point B. Any enemy contact, we respond to it. You know what I mean? We're the first ones to respond to it. And being gun one, I was the first one to see everything. I spotted so many IEDs. What did you take with you on your deployment? Oh, my recording equipment, my microphone. You know, my doctor, I call it my doctor, you know what I mean? That's my therapist right there. A lot of uh, war fighters, they go to the gym, pump pump weights. Mine was, I didn't even go, I didn't pump one weight. <laughs> I was recording music, that was my off time, man. There'd be times when I was recording, I get so, so deep into the music, and I'm so focused on getting the words right, the, the metaphors right, the punchline right, and, and just the, the, the feeling of creating music. I would stop and like, oh my God, I'm in Iraq. I forgot I was in Iraq. So even if we, we have a bad mission, I would go back and I would make music about it. You know what I mean? And it, and it, it made me feel good, man. It made me feel good. What was your transition like, you know, coming back to civilian life? That's actually the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life, to be honest with you, man. I was self-isolating, I didn't even know about it. I didn't know I was self-isolating. I hated being around people. Because I used to think, like, there's other veterans that are worse than me. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want them spending their money on me. It wasn't until, like, I... Uh, uh, I would yell at my kids for no reason. You know what I mean? It, and it hurt me to hurt them. And I said, I'm going to get help. What'd you do when you realized that? I went to the VA. My VA doctor said, you do, you do music, so make a song about it. And I, and I did, you know what I mean? And I never ever looked at it as being soft or, or being weak. I looked at it as, as being soldier hard. You know what I mean? Saying that you got a problem. A real person's gonna tell you I have a problem. You know what I mean? A, a weak person is gonna tell you that they're okay when they are really not, that they do have a problem. That's how I think of it. So you revisit the thing that gave you, that, that gave you therapy while you were in the dirt, and that 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 gave you some relief, some resolve. 
So I did a song called Road to Recovery and I released it and then it went crazy, man. It went crazy. Because yeah, a lot of people who are like me who are, could relate to a lot of warfighters just like me going through what I'm going through really felt it. And they were on the road to recovery too. And it just really told me, like, you know what I mean? There's people like me who need help. That was, yeah, this became my mission, man. Do you feel like helping these vets through your music is almost like an extension of your military service? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's still, it's still a form of service. It's just because I got out, just because I don't wear the uniform no more, just because I don't have tanker boots on no more, I'm still serving. Why, after all these years, that old mic that don't work no more, what was it that made you want to keep that? It reminds me like, I'm still here. This thing helped me still be here. This little broken $100 microphone helped me. It has some sentimental value to it to me. You know what I mean? It's a, uh, I keep it, I keep it. I want to help everybody. Yeah, I don't care if you're a veteran. I want to help you. And I'm gonna make a song about it. If my music can help you, which tons do, that makes me feel good. Man, I work hard for that. I already killed his music. Yeah, I should give it back. Mama always told me. Mama always told me. Mama told me. She said, Grand Hard Son never quit. Yeah, that's what Mama told me. Mama told me. We'd like to thank Analog Devices for their support of American Veteran Keep It Close. Analog Devices has over 50 years of experience providing electronic solutions to the space, aviation, and defense industries. From electronics designed to survive the harshness of space or the cold pressures of the ocean to addressing mission-critical solutions. When bridging the physical and digital worlds, Analog Devices has been there to provide support to those who explore, move us, and defend us every day. Analog Devices, ahead of what's possible.